Nathan, would you like uh, to give a quick introduction about Airtel? So, if there is someone that knows all this company, um, as you're not familiar with you, please. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, my favorite topic, Bharti Airtel. Um, so, we're the leading communications provider uh, in India, um, also Sri Lanka, and uh, 16 countries in Africa. Um, this makes us the, in fact, the second largest operator in the entire world uh, uh, by customer volume, just behind uh, China Mobile. Um, of course, our core business is a mobility business, but we also have fixed line, also satellite TV, um, also enterprise business, also we're a full service bank, so, so quite a lot happening. Definitely, definitely impressive. Thanks for that. So let's talk about the amazing success you have had at Airtel with the flying AI-driven uh, autonomous operation to your IT system. Uh, this is a strategy that's becoming increasingly important to operators for all across the world. All sorts of reasons such as wanting to become more efficient or to prevent uh, severe issues and human errors or to reduce cost or all of the above. There is a long list of advantages but Airtel's strategy had a very specific objective in mind, which has to significantly reduce customer frustration. This is something that is quite unusual, called rival. Why did you decide to focus on this frustration indexation? Yeah, good question. I mean, this was actually you know, driven straight from the top. I mean, the Airtel, Airtel strategy in India is to uh, win with a differentiated customer experience, right? Um, and for this to happen, our service has to be completely seamless, 100% uh, without friction, always on, always dependable, with zero errors and zero exceptions. Um, and that number zero may seem like some big exaggeration or a hyperbole, but it is actually uh, uh, our goal. Um, and uh, by the way, you know, this is not like some internal uh, uh, IT department idea. It's actually our very public uh, go-to-market strategy. And we are so uh, actually passionate about this whole zero failure concept. Uh, we actually went on TV and told uh, the entire uh, you know country of India about it uh, uh, in this uh, promotion. Actually, you can you can play it now to give give everyone the idea. Chennai me itne, Bandra Pavai Kulaba matlab Mumbai me itne. Yaha zyada, vaha kam. वही जो हर कंपनी छुपाना चाहती है पर एयरटेल नहीं ये गिनती है कस्टमर्स के सवालों की जो इस वक्त हमारे सिस्टम में है ये सब क्यों दिखा रहे हैं क्योंकि हम चाहते हैं कि एक दिन हमारे सिस्टम में जीरो क्वेश्चंस जीरो कंप्लेंट्स हो जीरो मतलब एयरटेल से किसी को कोई शिकायत नहीं होगी फालतू कथा इम्पोसिबल माना ये इम्पोसिबल है पर कोशिश तो हम करेंगे कट्स है क्रेजी है पर कूल है इंडोर कवरेज लॉकडाउन में रिचार्ज और स्लो डेटा स्पीड जैसे लाखों सवालों के जवाब हम दे चुके हैं और आपके हर सवाल का जवाब ना दे तब तक हम रुकेंगे नहीं सो देर यू गाइस हैव इट जीरो कंप्लेंट्स वी हैव टू एक्चुअली रीच सो गिवन दिस वेरी एग्रेसिव मैंडेट वी रियली kind of had no choice but to, but to roll up our sleeves uh, and make very, very serious investments, um, you know, not only in our operation tools and our processes, also holistically across our entire, how our systems are actually architected, um, and also how we are actually partnering with our business to make sure that we are together going to achieve this goal of, uh, of reaching zero failures. Thank you for that. Can you please tell us a little about the solution that was implemented and also the new capabilities it provides? Of course. Um, I mean, the, the, I won't go too much into the technicalities of the implementation, but the few of the guidelines uh, which we really uh, uh, you know, focused on going in, um, first, you know, the most critical point is that every single thing must be automated. I mean. When we are working at this kind of a scale with, with so many platforms and, and so many transactions and system, um, I mean, things have to be automated. Uh, you know, what we found is anytime there's an issue and someone has to, has to react and log in and figure it out and, 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 and do something, it would take on average three, three and a half hours to actually resolve, which is too long. And there's no way you can actually avoid uh, customer uh, frustration when that is your 
uh, time to resolve. Uh, if a bot does the same work, if a bot uh, detects an issue and a bot fixes it, we found that it actually happens in less than three minutes. So not even really comparable uh, uh, to the you know, human situation. And that's not even accounting for all the various errors or mistakes or, or other ways the human can actually uh, uh, make the situation worse sometimes. So everything automated is the first thing. Um, second thing was uh, more of a uh, mentality or philosophy that we, that we had to have going in, which is focus on the uh, structural fixes. Because what we notice is that a lot of time when, when, when things are on fire, uh, when, there, when there's issues going on, um, operators and developers have a big temptation to just kind of do something quick to get past the problem and uh, leave it and move on to something else. And what ends up happening is we get a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of technical debt, landmines into the system, um, and we want to avoid all that and make sure that there's no kind of zombie issues that, that, that come back from the dead and continue to haunt us. So what we did is we actually, any issue, we actually track two fixes. I mean, the, the immediate fix that, 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 that solves that particular issue and the long-term fix that assures that the issue will never recur. Um, so that's a critical point for us. And the last thing that we really require from this platform is that it has to work in a completely you know, heterogeneous, hybrid, uh, complex landscape. And we have, of course, uh, you know, in Airtel, uh, your team and Amdocs are doing a lot of work for us. We got plenty of other partners also doing work and a lot of stuff that we kind of uh, do in-house also. So the um, whole architecture that we put in has to be open, has to work, any, anyone has to be able to operate it, use it, work on it. Um, so those were kind of our key uh, jumping off points going into this whole situation. Thank you for that, Nathan. Um, there have been a lot of uh, innovation involved in this project, and one of the first was the unique, as you mentioned, customer frustration index, which you created together with Amdocs as a main partner to monitor and measure customer frustration in real time. How did you develop such a mechanism capable of measuring an emotion like frustration without having to bring with you a team of uh, psychologists? Uh, the amount of work that we put into this, this particular metric, the CFI you're referring to, um, uh, really prodigious. It's not a, um, and the important thing about the CFI is it's not a system metric, right? It's actually, uh, because in the end, the customer doesn't care for your system, right? The customer only care that their transaction actually works, goes through and to end, and, and whatever uh, was supposed to happen, happens. So um, the CFI actually tracks at the, at the customer transaction level not the system level is the first thing. Second thing, uh, and this is very critical, is the business ownership of the metric. Um, of course, we, sell, we all sit together, Amdocs, Airtel, business team, we uh, uh, decide what, we agree on what will frustrate the customer, and we jointly agree on a combination of, uh, of uh, metrics that will form this CFI. Because we really want to avoid a situation, which used to happen a lot, where IT guys are very happy crowing about their great KPIs, business guys are still saying no, 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 customer experience is poor. Um, we want to make sure that we're all on the same page there. Um, and third thing is that we want this metric to com be completely data driven. Uh, we want it not to be subjective. So um, interestingly, business at the beginning, they're not very clear what is really causing that customer frustration, right? And the key uh, insight that we have um, is that it's not, it's not so much of a science because the customers are actually telling us every single day when it's frustrating by way of calling our call center and informing us. Um, tricky thing is to actually, you know, dig deep into those calls, make sure that we data mine the full thing. All of the calls are actually root cause analyzed and we, that way we can tell, um, you know, what we have to fix uh, and where we have to make our major adjustments to reduce the frustration. A lot of times it's fixing things in our systems, but a lot of times it's small enhancements that were not readily apparent, like uh, small changes to the bill format or, um, or, 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 or different case, uh, uh, KCI messages we can send that makes it easier uh, you know, for the customer to work with us. Amazing. Um, it's definitely a, a cultural change that you led uh, among your partners like Amdocs and all your uh, IT employees and people. Can you share with us now after a while that you are introducing and implementing this, uh, this uh, frustration index? What the situation now regarding the customer experience? Did you achieve the results uh, that you expect? If you can share with us a couple of examples, that would be great. 
I mean, um, I mean, bad news actually. Uh, we have not yet reached uh, zero customer complaints. Uh, uh, getting closer and closer, though. I mean, the first point, I mean, the first major achievement actually was to bring down the outages because anytime you're talking about outages, I mean, you can forget CFI, forget your KPIs, you can forget your salary also because if there's too many outages, you're definitely going to be uh, looking for a new job pretty soon. Um, and the situation when we kicked off this whole process was dire, right? We used to average 40, 50 outages every single month. Um, it was completely out of control. And we managed to reduce this uh, by our new operational tools and processes by more than 90%. Um, still a few, a couple of outages a month, but given that it's across you know, all of our platforms, BSS, OSS, digital, BI, bank, uh, infrastructure, uh, things are more or less manageable now. Other metric, which, which all telcos obsess about, is the, the order fallouts. Um, here we've made uh, unbelievable progress. I mean, a pure reduction uh, in 90% in 90 of, the, of the order fallouts. And even those 10% that are still there, um, a bot is actually able to, to, to solve the issue 90% of the time again. So it's an overall 99% reduction in order issues where a person has to, has to, has to do something. So this is absolutely fantastic. Um, similar story in our IT tickets. Uh, we've reduced the total ticket count by 50%. Even within that, it's auto, auto resolved by a bot 70% of the time, so overall 85% reduction. Uh, billing, another success story, uh, especially for you, as it's completely, completely managed by MDOC's uh, end-to-end. 80% uh, uh, reduction in bill pendency and zero bills stuck longer than seven days. And we found that seven days is really that key cutoff point where the customer starts wondering, uh, where the heck is my bill? Um, the CFI metric we just discussed, uh, when we kicked off, we took a target of 60% improvement. We've reached 80%, so uh, another good story. But the most critical metric of all actually is that customer call number, right? Because the customers are only calling with an issue or with a frustration. We want to reduce that overall number. Um, and we've actually brought that down by 60%. So, so a much uh, easier and more relaxed time in our call centers and uh, a much happier customer base overall, we can tell. Wow, this, these are really, really great results. And on a personal view, when we started this journey together, there was a lot of skepticism, but a lot of passion that you generated both to us and, of course, within your team. And it's such uh, amazing to see that the great result that we achieved together. We are very proud as your uh, partner for the BSS side uh, of achieving it together with you guys. I mentioned before, and you also touched about uh, the, a lot of innovation uh, that was involved here. Can you give, please, a couple of more examples about this unique innovation that was involved in this amazing process? Yeah, there's tons. Um, <clears throat> I'll touch first on the on the federated operations architecture that we that we evolved, uh, because our challenge, of course, we have a lot of you know home built operations, assets, processes, tools, people, but we also want to combine that with the kind of global learnings and and, and pre built uh, uh, knowledge and value that MDocs brings, and we're able to do this by our federated operations where we have um, uh, uh, one set of tools combined with MDocs, so it's sort of the right tool for the right problem kind of approach. Um, good example is the one-click billing where Amdocs was able to plug and play their global solution uh, into our uh, Airtel environment, which is a completely complete automation of the entire billing process, uh, reduce a lot of manual activity and a lot of errors over there. And the same platform can equally be used by all of our other operations teams and uh, provide a seamless experience across Airtel. Um, secondly, I think, uh, very nice achievement in terms of our actual customer journey tracking. Um, of course, we started out with system-wise KPIs. As I said, customer doesn't care for those. So we ended up dumping all the transactional data into our central operations data lake. That there over there can be uh, 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 visualized, uh, aggregated, operated on. This way we can really tell what are the um, you know, key improvements we have to make to drastically uh, improve the customer experience and um, what are the weak links in the chain that we have to really attack. Thank you for that. Thank you for showing this amazing innovation. I think this innovation and, and the one goal that we had together, together with the successful results, uh, reflected just now 
uh, are a very good reflection also of the good collaboration and strategic, strategic partnership between Airtel and Amdocs teams. What next? Where do you want to go from here in order to further improve and innovate? I mean, we're going to get to that, that zero, uh, zero complaint number one of these days. <laughs> um, definitely, as you write, uh, uh, operations is an iterative process. We're going to continue to improve. A um, few of the things we're focusing on, uh, one is, of course, increasing our usage of, of ML and AI techniques um, to uh, make our bots and our scripts even smarter. Um, we have a you know a mountain of data at our disposal. We have to kind of get into that and make sure that we're leveraging it properly. Um, also, you know, too much of our, our too much of our bots are still running in reactive mode, where the issue happens, bot immediately sees it and goes in for the fix. Still, there's that you know one two minute of, of time where something is wrong. If we can switch to a more um, preemptive, proactive approach where we avoid the issue completely, that uh, removes that possibility totally. Um, and lastly, and the, the, the most difficult and the trickiest part, of course, is, uh, is that we still operate under the restrictions of some of our older legacy platforms, right? So, you know, we still have platforms that actually require a reboot in order to make changes. We still have platforms where someone has to manually log into a screen and do typing to make changes. I mean, in this day and age, it's, not, it's really not, uh, not acceptable anymore. Um, so we have to move to a completely zero touch cloud native uh, application environment. This requires really rolling up our sleeves and, 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 and doing those uh, legacy transformations. Anyone who works in telco knows that these are the trickiest, riskiest, uh, most problematic projects we can bite off. But uh, we're very much committed to, uh, to completely modernizing our, our, our platforms and, and getting to this uh, uh, zero error number. And we are at least equally committed to, to do it with you Nathan, and, and I want to take you personally as the pioneer of this uh, uh, customer uh, frustration indexation, which also became a partner for, uh, you know, frustration index for you partners. When you involve and you bring us to the business success of your customers, and we inject innovation and a lot of machine learning and those things, it also brings a lot and inject a lot of passion and a lot of motivation to the teams to overachieve, as you just mentioned. I don't know how to overachieve the zero touch or the zero complaints, but we will get there at least and, the, and work together on the next generation of those initiatives. Thank you so much, Nathan, and thank you to the Airtel team for partnering with us, for believing in us, and for believing that together we can make it. And let's, uh, let's get to the, net, uh, the next phase of, of challenge and do it together.